Star Trek Into Darkness. Let's get talking Star Trek Into Darkness. Star Trek Into Darkness is um J.J. Abrams' sequel to his own little version, his own version of Star Trek. I've heard on from you people on YouTube that it's really nothing. It's like there's elements not from the TV show, but it's his own universe. He said, "Okay, this is my universe. I'm gonna make it what I think," which I think is pretty cool. Even though I've never seen it original TV shows, but um, yeah, I've never I never really watched it. But Star Trek Into Darkness, um. Actually, I rewatched. I saw Star Trek one back in the cinema. Loved it. Rewatched it again on Wednesday. Thought it was great. Just the villain kind of like, ow. Just but the, the villain wasn't that. Good. I wanted more from it. It was on what screen time, I guess, with the villain. But hey, I can't complain because we got a good or bad sequel. What about the plot of Star Trek Into Darkness? Star Trek Into Darkness, the basic plot of the film is the Enterprise find themselves under attack from this like really powerful terror, this unstoppable terror. And um, Captain Kirk decides, you know what, I want to go after this guy. I want to go after this guy. And it should be easier, right? One guy. Easy. So, who's, so let's talk about the cast in this movie. We've got everyone returning back from Star Trek, and I mean... So who's back in the Sony? Of course, Chris Pine as um Captain Kirk. It's Captain. Gotta call him that. You got Zachary Quinto as Ms. Spock, and then you got Carl Urban, Mr. Judge Dredd as Bones, and of course you got the hilarious Scotty um as Simon Pegg, and you got Zoe Slime as a girl in Avatar, and John Cho. You know, just just everyone really. Everyone you thought was in the first one is basically smacked into this one. Okay, but who is the villain? Like, who the hell is the villain? Into Benedict Cumberbatch. Yeah, that shit's real. Um, he plays the villain in this movie, the main big villain in this film. And then you, his name is um John Harrison. If I got that wrong, I apologize. I will check after this. Um, he was just. I can't even explain in words what he was in this movie. It's just. He was just amazing, Benedict Cumberbatch. I mean, holy shiz. Um, that was just really weird. I'm never gonna say holy shit ever again. Talk about again. Benedict Cumberbatch for just a few seconds, for a few minutes, for a minute. Um, Benedict Cumberbatch in this movie is just absolutely fantastic. When you're watching him, you're just sucked in. You think no one else in the cinema but you and Benedict Benedict Cumberbatch. Shit is intense. Can I say? I mean, holy god! And when you're when he's on the screen, you're just like you're just glued in. You just can't take your eyes off the screen. He's there. You're like. Oh god, here he comes. And it's just awesome scene that I loved. Benedict Cumberbatch, man, as the villain, just I couldn't ask for more. He was so great in this movie. I mean from the trailers I knew like this is the guy this is the guy. Guys, this is the guy, this is the guy. God, I'm talking to myself. I'm <laughs> awesome in this movie, Benedict Cumberbatch. I can't wait for everyone to see it. Um I know it comes out next week in America. Did I mention that? I have no idea. Um but yeah, it comes out next week. If I mentioned it, I apologize. But yeah, Benedict Cumberbatch, man. Awesome, awesome. I mean, just when I think about it, when I slept overnight because I saw it last night, I just thought, wow, he's awesome, man. Just great, great stuff in this movie. Star Trek in the Dark, man. Awesome. Let's just talk about some of the good Now, if you saw that was action in the first movie, <clears throat> not, okay, I'm sorry. Look, the first movie had action, but I just wanted a bit more from it. And this Star Trek in the Darkness, it doubles that. So many good action sequ se sequences, so great, especially see on the big screen, man. Just loved it. There's one scene in particular, I'm not going to say who's involved, what happens, no. Um, it's just a scene, and there's no music behind it. There's music later on in the scene, but the beginning of it, there's no music. All you can hear is, and I was like, whoa. And I said that out loud, and some other guy said that out loud. And it was just, it was, cause it was really breathtaking. I mean, it was really, really cool seeing that. Because you, you're, you're really sucked in into this universe. And, and then you just see that, no music or anything. And you just go, whoa. It was really, really cool. And I loved how J.J. Abrams did that. It was really, really cool. I just absolutely loved it. And there's great humour going on between Spark and Zoe Slander. Um, Zoe Slander, I hope I pronounced that right. Between them two, um, between their characters. The actress, Zoe Slander, I forgot her character's name. But um, Spark and her, um, since of course they have a relationship now, 
it's just so funny seeing them, you know, argue and everything. I thought it was hilarious. It was really great humor in this movie. I thought, um, everyone's laughing. It was a good time in the cinema watching it. Um, yeah, humor's great. A lot of good action in the movie. And, that, and there's a lot of heart in this movie. A lot of heart. And, um, there's a lot of emotion in this movie as well. A lot more than the first one. Um, was it darker? Yeah, I, I mean, no, it's not too dark, like a Batman film, but like the Dark Knight and everything. But it's got the light stuff, got the humour, it's got the emotions, it's got the heart. It's just everything you want, and I think it's just a great, great movie. Star Trek and the Dark Knight is a great movie, you've got the great acting, great action sequences. I'm talking about awesome action sequences, great humour, great just visual, visual, and the Enterprise, she is looking great. The Enterprise... Um, it's just, she's looking great, even though she gets a bit rusty, but she's looking great. She's looking amazing in it. Um, she's looking amazing in the movie. Um, I didn't go watch it in 3D. I'm not a huge fan of 3D now, since everything is just now converted. No, it needs to be filmed in 3D for me to pay that little extra. But yeah, just Star Trek the Dog is a great, great summer film. Um, summer which is now getting the summer scene. But not just that, it's just a great movie overall. Just... Just a fantastic movie, just really, really good. But I have one. There is I have one, one problem, problem with, the with the film, and for me, it's just the ending. Now the ending is really, really. Now what I forgot to mention is that a lot of twists and turns. Okay, in this film, some like I don't even know come out. I bet you a lot of people won't see coming, and um, really, really good twists and turns. Of course, maybe the Trekkie fans will probably say, "Yeah, I know what's coming." Yeah. I told you guys, but um, for me, for not being one of those really, really tricky, tricky fans, uh, I love Star Trek with J.J. Abrams and so on. I, it, I'm not really a tricky fan due to I've never seen the old TV so series, but I, I really enjoy the Star Trek films that J.J. Abrams have done. Um, but I didn't see any of these twists and turns coming. Maybe those tricky fans will. And um, there's one twist I saw coming. Um, just just before I didn't know at it at the time, but when when something had been shown up that way. Yeah, okay, and it happened, but that was only, that was only one, but the, just the ending was just a bit, you had all this build up and everything, and it's just a bit, yeah, it was like, oh, okay, really, okay, some people might be satisfied, some people might be just a bit like me going, oh, okay, but that's just one really gripe that I had with the film, and that's really it, overall, Star Trek in the Darkness is a fantastic movie, Great acting, great action, great story, just great everything. It really gets deep down and develops during the film. And I just think Star Trek and Darkness is a great film now. I think we're getting here to the great, the good movies. Um, I just can't wait to see some other, I, I could not wait to see other good films as well. But Star Trek and the Darkness right now is just really, really great film. Highly, highly recommend it. If you aren't really a fan of the first one, I think this one will win you over definitely. Um, Star Trek in Darkness, I will give this one a 4 out of 5, um, 4.5 to 4, just, just a great, great film, that's all I want to say, just a fantastic movie, Star Trek in the Darkness, it deserves it, come on, yeah, I loved it so much, I cannot wait to check this one out again, Star Trek in the Darkness, I was going to do that, but it's not Superman yet, um, but Star Trek in the Darkness, wow, J.J. Evans, man, well done, and lens flare, hey, the lens camera thing, the lens flare, um, I didn't see too much of it, at one point I was like, oh, come on, go away, but then it was okay, but yeah, I, I don't mind it now, I've got used to it, but JJ Abrams, man, well done, so I tried Gonzalez, again, 4 to 4.5 out of, 4 to 4.5 out of 5, loved it, great movie, check it out, um, so I'm this out now, it comes out next week in America, check it out, so that is my review of Star Trek Into, Into Darkness, please like, comment, and subscribe! Yeah, I don't know why you pressed the button, up or down, that, that doesn't look wrong, but yeah, stay tuned for more movies is coming up, I've got Fast 6 is coming out, uh, The Hangover Part 3, and this movie coming out, Only God Forgives, yeah, it comes out in July in America, we get here, it's 31st of May, thank you so much, I cannot wait, that is my most anticipated movie now, for, for May, it was Star Trek, now it's Only God Forgives, I mean, come on, Drive was amazing, so Only God Forgives, so yeah. That is my review of Trial Into Darkness. Stay tuned for more. Thank you, stay tuned for more reviews. Great, great film. Check it out, check it out. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. See ya.